It's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Wall, and my guest for the segment is Jose Rodriguez. Did I get that right, Jose? Absolutely. You got it right. Yes, Good sir. deal. And we're talking about things of financial nature. Yes, sir. So tell me about it. Do enlighten me, my friend. Financial literacy. Well, this is the, uh, this is the subject that uh, everybody wants to talk about. Right. Now, why, why is it important to have financial I mean, who cares, right? I mean, you know, we, we grow up, we, we get a job, we have a family, right. and, you know, we die. So, you know. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's huge, huge to support. <laughs> uh, this month is Financial Literacy Month, so we want to just create awareness. But you're absolutely right. It's a subject that uh, people don't want to talk about what we need to talk about, you know, especially. We don't occur. raise our kids with it for the most part, right. you know. Um, we don't, our young people have no clue when they go out into life. Yes. And oftentimes they get to that point in life where most of life's behind them and they go, it's one of those, oh my gosh, moments. If only I had known. Oh yeah, you're and absolutely so, right. You know, it's called planning ahead. Right, no one plans to fail, we fail to plan. That's, that's, that's it. Uh, that's a slogan so, that we practice. Yeah. So. How, how did you get into financial planning? Uh, you know, it's a great question. That's something that, um, you know, I never saw myself doing because the the uh, topic of, uh, you know, money, no one wants to talk about it. You know, you avoid it at the <laughs> dinner table yeah. with my parents growing up. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, I come from a great family. I was blessed to have everything I needed, mm -hmm. not everything I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, uh, I, I, I came to the realization uh, that it's a subject that we all need to not avoid, yeah. but we need to tackle because it's it's huge. Whether you have money that you need to protect, or where you need, where you have uh, the need for it. Right? Jose, I grew up in a in a house. You know, I had great parents. We never talked about how much Dad made. Right. You know what the you know family budget was. You know, we just we, we were taken care. Of. He yes. did his job. We yeah. were taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen to that. No, I'm and and, and again, uh, just to kind of. You know, go over that again. My, you know, my dad worked his tail off. You know, yeah. he just retired recently, um, last year. So, so you know, we were raised to bust your tail, work, 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 work. But in terms of how to handle your finances, that's something that we never really talked about. Right. You know, so so I got into the industry um, uh, about maybe when I was living in the Bay Area, probably about maybe 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, again, I got into the industry only because. Number one, I know it's something that we need to know. Yeah. But the it was a seed, it was a molding process for me, and I really, uh, you know, we all get hit hard in something that's called life. Yeah, you I've know, heard that rumor. Yeah, you <laughs> get you get hit by curveballs, and uh, you know, if you're not prepared, just like you say, you know, you're gonna have to deal with it uh, one way or another. Yeah. Right? And uh, you know, so kids grow up, and and they they, you know, they stumble. Right. And sometimes that stumble is recoverable, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not. Yeah. But what is absolute is if you plan ahead, yes. you got a far better chance of recovering than if you don't. Oh yeah, that's that's guaranteed. You know, um, whether you have uh, any kind of protection plan, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the need for college funding, the need for just awareness in terms of where to put your money, right. you know, and how to get the, the the most return, how to protect it, how to leave something behind, how to create legacy plans. I mean, I remember having conversations with uh you know good friends of mine that uh, hey jose you need to put 25 dollars a week away 35 dollars a week had i had i implemented that at when i was 20 years old mm -hmm. you know um i'd be a lot better off but you know everything happens for a reason it's all timing i believe yeah. it um so it's never too late you know so what's 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 the magic uh wand here what's the what's the story well you know there's there's various um there's various subjects in the finance industry um, right and we, we try and focus on a uh, as needed basis. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's different. People have, everyone has different goals. Mm -hmm. You know, some people want to travel. Some people want to just, you know, Wait stay at home. Goals. And, What's goals have to do with finances? Absolutely everything, everything, everything. So if you want to meet certain goals, you know, you've got to finance it properly. You know, uh, again, um, you can make a decent amount of money. You can make really, you can just be making uh Ends, ends meet, which is 95% of America, by the way. It, you know? I know that. Yeah, so most people don't even have $400 in the bank in their savings. So you have to have some kind of, um, um, I, I guess, maybe a, a plan B, per se. You know? Well, actually, it's more like a plan A, but most people live by plan B. You're absolutely or right. Or sometimes plan C. Yes. Which yes. is really tough. Yeah. But, you know, I heard something years ago. 
and I've never bothered to do the math, but it had something to do with with compounding interest, and it was mm -hmm. something like if you, and and I honestly, Jose, I don't remember what the percentage of compound interest was, mm -hmm. but they said it's a, if you put like forty bucks a week or a month away, starting at age eighteen, yep. or, or you know something like that, by the time you were like forty years old, you'd have a very large, substantial amount of money. Right. Um, but that forty bucks. You know, it, most anybody could probably do without that, without it really hurting them. Yeah. But most people don't think about it. Mm -hmm. But you get uh, down the line, and all of a sudden you've got, you know, maybe if you're if you're lucky, you you you're at that place where you're going to meet that goal. But maybe you're going to meet that need, yes. you know, for that large sum. Right. And all of a sudden you're looking around and. You know, if I had only put that 40 bucks away. So you're talking about various different products where I can mm -hmm. uh, create a path towards you know, goal achievement, retirement, uh, you know, house purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I'm a generous parent, maybe paying for my kid's college yep. <laughs> without see. having to take out a, a second mortgage on the house, oh my right? God. Yes, you're absolutely so, right. Yeah, that's one of the fundamentals that we, that we preach is, um, again, it's all awareness. It's either the knowledge or the lack of. Yep. There's a saying that says, um, in terms of compound interest, mm -hmm. those who know it, earn it. Yeah. Those who do not, pay it. So that's one of the fundamentals that we that we that we preach. You know, because you can go put, um, you know, some, let's just say pocket change. Right. Right. But if you're growing at a high interest or higher rate of return, and it, and with the proper protection, um, you're absolutely right. That that can double, triple, um, in in a number of years. So we have different plans that addresses uh, very specific needs. We tailor certain uh, um, plans for individuals, uh, but that is huge, man. Because, I mean, would you rather get a one percent return versus a twelve percent return? So that makes a huge, huge difference. You know, yeah, one one percent compound or twelve percent simple interest. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Where am I going to in the long run make the money? Right, right. You know, so well, I like that, that may be pr pretty simplistic, but yeah. more realistically, let's say five percent compound versus. Ten percent simple. Yes. You know, I'll, I'll take the five percent. Well, yeah. But yeah. I need to know why. You know. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where you come in, right? Yeah. 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 So we break that down, uh, even with people that have existing plans. Yeah. You know, our goal is to create awareness. Obviously, this is the month to do it, but we should do it every single month. Mm -hmm. Sit down with a professional, talk uh, about your goals, look at the uh, uh, maybe you already have a plan. You right. know, but it's like anything else. You should always have a second opinion. I had shoulder surgery two years ago. Right. I went to one doctor. He said I was perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Take these ibuprofen pills. I went to get a second opinion, and sure enough, I had a little more damage than that. So, yeah, well, that you know can be. And also, besides that second opinion, uh, periodic reevaluation, right? Yes, yes. You know, that that's kind of important, also. Oh, that's huge. That's you huge. Know. We we uh, we always say uh, meet with your financial professional to see if perhaps there's an upgrade at no cost. Because um, you always want to get the best of this, just like your iPhone, just like your, I don't know, the latest TV gadget or something. Oh, yeah. You know, there's always something better. You know, yeah. so upgrade, upgrade, so, upgrade. That's what you do. That's exactly what I do. Yeah, yeah. like what you do. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Like again, you know, initially, um, I didn't, I didn't see myself doing this. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, we all get hit with life, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, I think when that happens to you. Yeah. Uh, you get more of a sense of passion. Mm -hmm. Where look, I want to actually, you know, you want to create a legacy and help your family and your and your friends and and whatnot. Right. But you know that you can make a difference. We have the power to do that. Right. It's all about education. That's all it is. You know. So I'm watching this and I'm liking what I'm hearing. Who are you and how do I get a hold of you? Great question. Uh, so my name is Jose Rodriguez. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Jose Manuel Rodriguez, uh, and I speak Spanish fluent, so I can you know help out. That creates a, a different market. Uh, phone number is 559-871-0305, okay? Okay. During these times, Jose, um, you know, face-to-face uh, -face may be a little difficult. Yes. Um, you know, do you have, you know, do you do, like, online consult, you know? Because yes. I'm, all I do is this, man, you know. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the guy doing the business. How's that work? Yeah. Well, so with these uh, crazy days that we're living right now, uh, we don't panic. Yeah. We just pivot. 
So we are meeting with our clients uh, via Zoom, yeah. which actually uh, streamlines our day. We're able to help more families, educate more individuals, um, uh, and everything's via Zoom. You know, uh, so you're, you're able to uh, connect with folks, and we have to respect what's going on right now and do our part and uh, limit, you know, what's right. going on. But yeah, we 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 do Zoom calls. You can you can uh, you can sit at the comfort of your home, um, and yeah, we can definitely uh, we can definitely help with that. All right. Once again, how do I get a hold of you? Five five nine eight seven one zero three zero five, or you can uh, find me on Facebook, Jose Manuel Rodriguez, and I'm uh, I'd be glad to help. Yeah. Listen, financial education is <laughs> it's worth every penny. It's worth every penny that you will ever make, and I know that for sure. Absolutely. And I'll see you when we come back.